Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from The Acoustic Letter, and today we're going to look at a custom triple O from Martin. But before we do so, let me please remind you to stick around to the end of the video and sign up for The Acoustic Letter. You'll be very, very happy that you did so. <laughs> Now, for you Acoustic Letter followers that have been with us for a while, you may remember some months ago we featured a small, I think it was a single O, uh, beautiful maple guitar with some unique appointments. Well, today we have that guitar's big brother. We have the same guitar in a triple O with a longer scale length, which makes for a very, very unique tonal palette, if you will. What we have is an Italian spruce top, paired with quarter inch Sitka spruce bracing, that's scalloped, a bird's eye maple pyramid bridge with a long saddle, yes, a bird's eye maple bridge. We have abalone purfling around the entire top, around the fingerboard extension, rosette, very, very classy, next to koa binding, which is an excellent visual match against this beautiful bird's eye maple back and side. On the fingerboard, you'll also notice that we have bird's eye maple, again, next to koa binding, we have a Foden style inlay, an inch and three quarter bone nut, slotted style headstock with a bird's eye maple head plate, torch inlaid in abalone, gold Waverly tuners, low profile mahogany neck, and an all around extremely, extremely, extremely unique guitar, both in tone and in looks. So we're going to give this custom triple O with bird's eye maple back and sides and a longer scale like the play so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs>
Click the link to get the world's best acoustic guitar reviews sent to your inbox. Why? Because it's free and it's the easiest way to get prices and high-res photos of each guitar. Plus, as soon as you sign up, you'll get the free tabs and lessons for the songs I play in my guitar reviews. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button.